Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of the series where we have trained an AI to play simple video games. In this part, we are going to write up a script which can capture our screen and then save it frame by frame. And this is actually important because right now we do not have the source code of this complete game. So whatever information we want to achieve out of this game that can only be captured by looking on those frames. So throughout this video, we will write up a script using CV2 to capture these game frames. Then we will use a OCR framework to extract the information out of the image. So first of all, we will import numpy hnp. Then we will import the image grab library out from PIL. Next, we will import CV2 and time because we want to track how fast we are capturing these frames and then we are putting up a counter and here we are going to start a while loop till the time this while loop is true our function will keep on capturing my screen so here we are using the image grab library in the bonding box you can see 0 comma 50 that represent the top left most corner the pixel value from where we want to start and then we have to give the last point coordinate or the last pixel coordinate that is 930 and 590 because my screen resolution is pretty high compared to this simple game that's why i am taking up this lower resolution where this frame will come out now here because after every single capture of the screen i want to see how much time it is taken so i'm printing up the time difference for the function now this image grab library actually captures image in BGR format. So we want to convert it to RGB format. Hence we are using the CV2 library to convert from BGR to RGB. Meanwhile we are capturing, I also want to see the screen on the next slide. So we are using cv2.inshow method which will create another window where we can see the captured frames. And then final, I'm just writing up all these frames within a directory and we are updating the time counter so that next time we will be taking the time difference correctly. And here we are incrementing our counter and writing up a small function which will keep track when you are pressing up Q key to break this while loop. So for breaking up this while loop, the code is pretty straightforward. You can use cv2.waitkey method which tracks on the keys and if you are pressing Q key from your keyboard, it is going to destroy the window and stop this while loop. Now we understood how this function works. Let's run this function on top of the game. So here you can see it is capturing out the game frames and it is also showing us the complete frame within a different window. I am using a single screen over here so I cannot show the complete image but you can see that it is coming out as a different screen over here. Now let's check the folder where all these frames are saved. Let me stop this. So inside this folder, you can see all the frames which are captured at every single moment. Now we need to use some library which can extract the information out of these images. We can either go for a computer vision model or some OCR based models which can track out the number shot of information which is quite easy to access like the numbers which are written over here or some text which are written over here. In the next video, I will explain how I have used the OCR techniques to extract the text information out of these environment and based on that text information we have created the optimization algorithm which will optimize for scoring highest within this game. So if you are new to my channel don't forget to press the like share and subscribe button. I will catch up with you in my next video till then bye bye and take care.